Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it truly does make my day. And today, we are taking a look at the new Welsh ponies that just got added to game. So without any further ado, let's just get right into the video then. For thousands of years, Wales has been home to the beloved Welsh pony. The breed was shaped by the land and the people, developing into hardy and durable pony that thrived in tough conditions. Some have survived as wild herds, dating back countless generations. Others working alongside farmers, while others still were pampered by royalty. In Jorvik, the Welsh ponies of South Hoof are rumored to have been owned by the Winterwell family, forgotten and left to roam free. This suited them fine. The ponies flourished on the peninsula, but their ability meant, but their adaptability meant many Norwegians had a Welsh pony companion. All they need is a friend to travel with who can keep up with their stamina. The new breed is the updated Welsh pony, and one is at Fort Pinta, and the rest are at South Hoof. They cost 800 star quins each, and you need to at least be level 7 and reached a friendly with hermit. I know that took me so long. Literally like the worst reputation in the world. There are 7 new coat colors to choose from in addition to their standard main style. There are 4 main styles you can purchase. You can also purchase three new main styles. What? Okay, well, we'll check that out. Um, the Welsh Pony has a special move. New bridles and halters. I did not know they were bringing these out today. The show halter is perfect for keeping your companion by your side on all your Jorvik adventures. This halter is exclusively fitted for the Welsh Pony for now. The new English bridle with whatever. Uh, we're doing that. Horse retirement are Akaltikis and Appaloosas from Generation 1.5 that currently can be found at Ferdinand's Horse Market are leaving us for greener pastures. During the Wednesday update on April 6th, they will leave Jorvik and not be available for purchase from now on. While we love each love and why can I not speak? If you have already purchased any of these horses, need to not worry. The horses will stay unchanged in your safe ownership. Please note that they will not be further supported with bug fixes, updates, or new tasks. So that is very interesting. These are going to become some rare horses. So maybe we'll have to check that out. And without further ado, let's head on into Star Stable. Okay, here we are in Star Stable. There isn't actually a news like thingamajig you got today, bestie. So apparently there's not that. I am just so excited for the bridles as well. Like they are so pretty. And uh, to be honest, I did not think we were getting them today. Because of the little like Jorvik map, you know, where you see all the upcoming updates and stuff like that. They did not have it on today's update. So I'm very confused, but I'm happy that it's today. Okay, let's go to Hermit's Cottage. Why is this? Oh my gosh, finally. Okay, we are going to go and check out all of six or seven. I'm not sure. I think it's seven. Oh, hello. I remember reading it was seven, but then I remember knowing that it was six that um came to Jorvik. So let's go check them out. Are they being sold here? <gasps> they are. These are the Welsh pony. What? Oh, okay. I forgot. Okay, so there is six and one of them is at Fort Pinta. So they're surprisingly like no one on the server but here we go first one we kind of have like not too too detailed coat colors but i mean that is the style on these i guess you know but compared to the other ones they don't even have furs like <laughs> i'm sorry about Lisa. they don't have furs like i'm just saying the palomino is so cute in my opinion like these horses are probably not my most favorite in game but they are really really cute and this one i love this one the eyes like match the coat color so so good and the hoof even has like spotted details and overall it's just amazing i really really like that one this one is one of my favorites as well because under its mane and forelock i should say actually has a little heart and this one Ooh. <gasps> okay, I'm actually like, I don't know. I really like this one. I would have said this one's my least from the trailer, but like it looks so cute. 
and it actually has furs this one actually does and green eyes like just subtle toned green eyes i definitely love this one oh i love their animations okay you know what we are going to head on over to fort pinta and check out the other one there and after that we can make our decision of which bestie we want to snatch and buy so let's head on over to fort pinta i'm not sure which one we're missing like off the top of my head i just it, it's a gray okay never mind i know which one is missing it's the gray okay here we go and this is the gray welsh po they're so tiny like they literally look like mini arabians like you can't even tell me they don't look at this whoa the gray has like such vibrant green eyes like my star stable character because i never changed my star stable character after i made i recreated like the eyes are just so vibrant i don't know i really really do like it i normally wouldn't go for like one color color horses if that makes sense but I really really do like it and it has a really cute face marking as well so I'm definitely considering it and okay I need to go back and see them one more time actually because this is because I didn't have like one pre-planned you know that I would go and like a hundred percent want to buy so it definitely is taking a little longer okay where is hermits Okay, here we are back and ready to attack. Okay, so these are- okay, I can't. I love this one way too much. And the problem- and I think, like, a determining factor is, like, I don't really have horses that look like that in my stable. Like, the Red Roan kind of horses. And I really, really do like that look on a horse. And, okay, but these are so cute as well. Like, this one, I just love the color scheme it has. It reminds me of, like, very foresty, you know, stuff like that. And the Palomino. The Palomino was the one I went into this thinking that I would really want. I think my top three are actually the Palomino red round one. Oh my gosh, wait. <gasps> oh, I, I thought I could go in that. Okay, never mind. This um, kind of red round one, the Palomino, and the gray. Those are my top three. But I think, I don't know, the Palomino is like metallic. I really like the palomino the palomino is so cute and i feel like i could match a lot of outfits but my other pony is palomino so i think i'm actually gonna go with the red brown i would not have thought that i would go into this video with this one in mind but you know what i really like it so let's come up with a name for this bad boy and uh they are type b i just realized that they are called welsh ponies type b does that mean there's a type a is that the old ones or something okay I'll be back once I found a name. Judo, that sounds like a name, right? I don't know, but I really like the name Jute. It's like some type of plant or something, and I just never say the word Jute. I really like it. Jute. Something you collect in Star Stable, is it not? It is. That's kind of like jute E. Oh my gosh, I'm making up names, guys. I'm so good. Okay, and we have uh, Jute O, Jute E. Or we could do like, okay, we're just going to randomize it. <gasps> Old milk. That's a thing, right? It is. Uh, it is. And it tastes really good. So we're going to get gold milk. There we go. Welcome to our home stable. Like, oh my goodness. I did not expect I would like this bestie. But I am literally falling in love with this Welsh pony. And I don't know, the red roan is just really cute. Okay, let's head on over and go to our home stable and actually check this horse out because half the video was me picking the name. I'll probably, prob probably, you know, just probably speed it up for you besties so you don't have to sit there. But you know what? Maybe I win. Do, do, do. Where's gold milk? Where are you at? Oh, here we go. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness. This horse is going to be so tight. Okay, we don't talk about this. We, we're not talking about that. My home stable is not a mess. I don't know what you mean. Gold milk is so tiny. What the heck? Look, our star stable characters are like almost as tall as the pony. Oh my gosh, it is so tiny. It's so tiny. What the heck? Look. Oh my gosh. 
Twilight characters so far away from the screen, it's just a great combo, but gold milk is so cute. Like, it actually is. I love. Oh, wait, we forgot main styles. That's, like, half of the fun, because these horses have, like, or three new main styles just for them, so we need to go check them out, of course, and see what they all look like on Tanatane Horse. This is so weird. It's so tiny. Oh my gosh, I haven't ridden a pony in Star Stable for ages. But this is what the first main style looks like. You could kind of like cut it down if you want like a shorter one. Yeah, it just kind of changes the main. Then we have the long braided one. We have the classic. This is the classic. We have the Fjord main style, which I don't know if I like it. We have the Akaltiki main style. We have the braided main style. What does that look like? for the tail. I kind of do like the braided mine style. It's a little cute. There we go. And oh, short braids. Short braids. Look. Tiny, tiny braids on a, a small horse. Like, oh, it is. It is just, I love it. Look how our star stable characters are so big compared to the pony. This one has so much detail with like the fur. I definitely love the red brown just because of the detail that is like, because it has furs, the other one don't, besties, all right? Yes, it's because of the furs. All right, um, and I also love the green eyes on this one, just like the subtle toned green. I think that is so pretty. And here we go. Ooh, bridles. Oh, I get a little excited over this. Um, just a little. Um, but literally these have different sequins and different jewels. So I, I don't know what to say. They are like the cutest bridles I have ever ever seen in my entire life on Star Stable. And what is this? A new flower plant that disappears? That's so cute. Daffodil flower decoration. Oh, Star Stable just added a little flower. How nice. And they also have these, which are rope halters. And they are so amazing because look at the detail here. Like, okay, I can't with these bridles and like halters. They are like the generation two of bridles and halters. Like they are so cute. Look, you can have one like this or you can like change the seat. Oh, it's the golden white, the golden silver little decoration there. Okay, I see. That is why we have so many. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with silver just because I feel like I can match better to it. And I think we're gonna go ahead and get like, look, the sequins and the jewels change on top. And I've not seen another one that like slightly differs from one bridal to the next and I love it. I think we're going to go with the English bridal in white and silver because that's easy to match to, yes. And I'll also get a show halter in white and silver to show everyone. So this is what the show halter looks like. Basically, you only have it on one side so your character will kind of look weird holding the other side if you see what I mean because it is like kind of a rope halter that you would use to lead your horse, which is great if you do a lot of role plays. But if you like normally don't like how weird this looks, I would not recommend it because you only have it on one side, which is the whole use of a rope halter. But look at that detail chain. I love it. Oh my goodness. I like, what is this? That's so good. And then we have the English bridle in white and silver. And this is what it looks like up close. And they are so beautiful. And like even the little like, oh, it's so good. These are my favorite bridles in the whole entire game, without a doubt. Like I just love how they look on the horse. And I also love the sequins and the jewels, you know it. All right, let's make an outfit for our lovely horse then. And I am missing the saddle I want. I wonder why, oh my gosh. Totally not because I have it on another horse. Why would you say that? Literally, that's so weird. Why would I do that and ruin my other horses? I I kind of really wish that you could use a bridle on like every single horse because that is the only type of bridle you'd see me wear but I think that this bridle only works with the Welsh ponies for the time being so I think I'm just gonna make a quick outfit actually you know what I'm just I'm not gonna make you besties wait through me making an outfit I'm just gonna reuse this one and get to the animations so you could see what this horse is all about so let me just snatch that real quick 
good enough outfit. We're not judging the outfit for now. It'll be changed, all right? Trust me. But the horse is so small. Oh my goodness. You see it compared to the Appaloozas? Because it is a pony, okay? I'm just not used to riding a pony because ponies are like, they don't come out very much. <gasps> Look, Amelie Opal Hunter has a Palomino. Okay, yeah, you run. Oh, wait sad. <laughs> Look! Oh, he's so cute! Oh my goodness, I love this horse. I don't need- Okay, well, in-game, it definitely looks a lot different than the trailer, in my opinion, and I don't know, it's just a really cute pony. Okay, so I'm going to get into the animations. So this is the walk. It's very, very nice, in my opinion. I do like the walk. I just don't necessarily feel like, oh, I love it, or I don't love it. Also, I realize that their hooves are, like, really big compared to other horses, but that's something that I really like about this horse. This is the trot. No, the trot. I like it because the tail kind of like bounces up and down. And that's like a big determining factor in a trot to make it more realistic. So I do like that. But again, not anything that makes me go, oh my gosh, this is my favorite like gate in the whole entire game. This is the canter. I actually like it. I really, really like this. It's like super bouncy over here with the braids. Star Stable did a little bit more with that. Oh my gosh, camera. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Camera, you suck. You keep going back. Bestie, I did not tell you to go. And I also like the tail. So 10 out of 10. Next. Next, this is the slow gallop, and okay, I actually do kind of like it. Yeah, not much to say about this, but there we go. And lastly, the fast gallop, and this is what it looks like. You could also slow this down to make it go like that if you want. Um, I just call it the gallop because it's the same animation. But yeah, this is what the gallop looks like. And uh, it'll take some getting used to, but I kind of do like it. And this horse actually does have a special move. And that is if you press O, does a little dance. Like that is so cute and I love it. Oh, right, we have to see the rear. The rear looks like that, definitely good. But the special move, look, it does a little dance and it kind of rears in the dance too. Love that. The idle animations on this pony are, are also a big reason of why I would choose this horse over others is because like it just acts like how I think a pony would act. And I don't know, the idle animations are amazing on this horse. And we have the jump, not particularly one way or the other, and the reverse. Again, not particularly one way or another. And is that everything I'm trying to think? I think that is. And we did show the special move. That is good, but that is everything about this pony. And I hope you enjoyed me buying, but look, it's like so cute and tiny. I love it. The bridles are a definite 11 out of 10 in my opinion too. Bye everyone, thank you so much for watching the Star Stable video. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it truly does make my day, and I post new Star Stable videos every single day. If you could only buy one of these Welsh ponies, let me know in the comments down below which one you would guess and why based off of coat color and which bridle is your favorite. And yeah, bye, thank you so much for watching.